Hansen, NASA climate scientist and global warming expert. Making a difference in your world. NASA climate scientist James Hansen was among the first to alert the public to the dangers of climate change. He did so at a congressional hearing conducted by then-Senator Tim Wirth. In 1988, he stepped to the front of the line of the scientific community to proclaim a human fingerprint on the Earth's rising temperature. It was a brave and lonely leadership role that he played then, and he hasn't stopped for one day since. At a National Press Club event recalling that hearing, Hansen said the world has long passed dangerous levels for greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Because we really have reached a point of a planetary emergency, and it's because there are tipping points in the climate system which we are very close to, and which if we pass, the dynamics of the system can take over. So the momentum of the system will carry you to very large changes which are out of your control. Some advocates downplay the warnings of global warming and dispute the claim the climate system is reaching a tipping point. Steve Siegel is a lawyer representing warming. energy I interests. I think that most people in, uh, who work on climate change issues are a lot more optimistic than that and believe that there are a suite of technological applications that we will be able to apply that can reverse or at least adapt to the consequences of global warming. Hansen joined other climate scientists in warning of increasingly violent storms, plant and animal extinctions, melting ice sheets, and rising sea levels if mankind fails to act. We have already reached one uh, tipping point, and we are going to lose all of the sea ice in the Arctic in the summer season. And we know that we're going to lose that sea ice because the planet is out of energy balance. Hansen says Arctic ice will melt completely during each summer in five to ten years, but that it can be reversed if mankind stops burning fossil fuels and phases out coal, the chief cause of man-made greenhouse gases. Paul Sisko, DOA News for Making a Difference in Washington.